Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for watching. If you're new here, my name is Maria. I do DIYs, hauls, reviews, and more. So thank you for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified every time I upload. In today's video, I will be doing five DIYs. I am so excited because I hardly do these on my channel. It is the Trash to Treasure. This is actually the Trash to Treasure March 2020 challenge hosted by Casey from Coffee with My Sunshine and co-host by Julia from The Mug Life DIY. I will leave their links to their YouTube channel in the description box as well as a playlist for this challenge. My first DIY will be this small planter made out of a water bottle and some Dollar Tree juice string and beads. The beads are leftover beads I had from my previous DIY. I started by cutting the bottom of the bottle, then the top. Depending how tall you want your planter to be, that's how much you'll cut off. My bottom piece is around three inches. I will be using the top and bottom piece only. Then I'm going to paint them using this granite gray. I decided to cut around the design like that. The top part is even. Now I'm going to go over it with the color Elephant from the Waverly Chalk Paint. It is a darker gray and I'm going to make it look or try to make it look more galvanized. I will be doing the same thing to the top piece. As you can see, I didn't even bother painting the top part. That is because you won't be able to see it. The next thing I will be painting are the three beads I will be using. And to paint these, I'm going to stick them in this wire. It's going to be way easier to paint them like this. The reason I used two pieces of the water bottle was to change the form of the planter. So to do that, I glued the top piece upside down inside the other piece of the bottle. To cover where I glued them, I added some drawstring around it. I also added a little bow I made out of the drawstring. And you can leave it like that, but I decided to add some beads. I'm going to add them to the bottom. As you can see, this already has three little divided sections. So I'm going to add one bead on each little section. Look how cute this little planter looks. The last thing I will be adding is just some greenery to it. And this greenery is from Hobby Lobby. It was a dollar. So this is how I first had it. Then I decided to paint the top gray. Either way, they both look nice. My second and third DIY is going to be this. I'm going to start with a crate and I used this piece of cardboard I already had. This is actually already folded so it will be easy to make. And then I'm going to make this smaller. So I'm going to cut this. Next, I'm going to make a small little box in the middle on each side, then I'm going to cut them. By the way, I will not be adding a bottom piece to this. Since this is cardboard, it will break easily. Instead, I'm just going to use it as a decor. I'm going to make the crate look galvanized with three different paint colors. I'm going to start with this granite crate first, and then I'm going to go over it with a Waverly chalk paint and elephant. Once I am done going over it with the elephant color, I'm going to add some black paint to the elephant color to make it a little bit darker and then I'm going to go over it with that color. Now I'm going to go over it with a different gray. This is steel from the Waverly Chalk Paint. Don't worry, that's all the paint we're going to use. I'm going to add some Dollar Tree burlap ribbon to the top and to the bottom. So I won't use a lot of burlap ribbon. I just use a piece and cut it in half and use one half on each little side. And I did this to both little windows. 
next i'm going to cut this design off off of this fence that i used in one of my previous diys i was about to toss this away but i'm glad i didn't and the last thing i did was just glue this little piece of fence to the crate you can add whatever you want inside but i recycled three candles from dollar tree I removed the sticker, then I gave all three two coats of white paint, and then I added some shoestring at the top. I added some of this lavender pig, and I got this from Walmart. Remember, this doesn't have a bottom, this is just for the decoration. I absolutely love how this turned out, you can't even tell this is cardboard. My fourth DIY is my favorite. Before you continue this video, guess what I use for the pot? Pause it and let me know down in the comments. Let's see if you get it right. For this DIY, I will be using the plunger bottom piece. I used a stick in one of my previous DIYs. The other thing I will be using is this plant hanger. I used some of the links in one of my previous DIYs as well. And this has 34 little links, so I'm going to cut some off to make three chains. So each chain will have 11 links. I'm going to add the third chain to the little hook and then use the pliers to tighten it up. I am going to turn the plunger inside out. Before I paint this, I'm going to make the little holes where I'm going to add the plant hanger this already has these little designs on the back so i'm going to use these as a guide and i'm going to add a hole on every other one and it's going to be a total of three this is plastic i use a knife first and then i to make the hole bigger i use a pencil i'm going to repeat the process i have been doing for the other diys to make this galvanized i'm going to go in with the light gray then with a the dark gray i'm going to paint the rim with the elephant color here i'm painting a little bit of the inside but i ended up painting the whole inside you will see later on to add the chains i'm going to open the links and then I'm going to put them through the little holes and then I'm going to close them back up with the pliers. To decorate my plant hanger, I will be using this succulent. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but I got this from Dollar Tree. I'm going to glue it inside the little hole that the plunger has and then i'm going to add some dollar tree pebbles around it and there you have it i absolutely love how this turned out this is one of my favorite ones my fifth diy is this planter i guess you want to call this a planter or a galvanized bucket or I don't know what you want to call this but I absolutely love how this turned out and again I will be using recycled things for this I will be using this coffee creamer bottle I'm going to remove the cap and the plastic I am also cutting the top part To match the rest of my stuff, I'm going to repeat the process I did for my other DIYs to make this galvanized. Now I'm going to add some dark gray on the lines. I am adding a line here at the top but I ended up covering this later on. I am going to use my daughter's old belt to make the handles. 
I got this idea from my friend Fanny by Creations by Favi. I am going to paint this with my Waverly chalk paint and elephant and I'm going to paint both sides. Here I am covering the line I told you earlier and I'm going to add a piece of the belt. I then cut two more small pieces of that belt to make the little handles. I'm going to add one to each side. I didn't like how that top part looked, so I added some hot glue to fill in that space. And then once it's dry, I'm going to paint over it and it's gonna look a lot better. last thing I did was add some ear lambs and I got these from Walmart they were two dollars and that is it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to check the trash to treasure playlist that will be down on the description box so thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and see you next time bye